Good morning. Hey, don't be late. I'll talk about that in just a minute. You know, I'm one of those people that like to be on time. I generally arrive early at things. It's just one of those things that I find important in my life. I don't want to be late. But it sometimes happens, even if it's just a few minutes. I was trying to get to work today, and I did a couple of extra things around the house because my wife's not feeling really great this week. And so I put myself behind. Then I walk out, and my car is covered in frost. I have to turn my daughter's turtle light on for her pet turtle because uh, she's gone with a friend right now. And my car's covered in frost, so I have to scratch all that off to get going. And then I go to get my coffee at McDonald's and the lady comes over the intercom and says, uh, hang on just a second. And I wait and I wait and I wait and I wait. And I know stuff like that happens and that's totally okay. I wasn't upset, not a problem at all. Guy pulled over in the other one and they started taking his order and I looked at the clock and I'm like, I, I can't wait. I can't wait anymore. I just gotta go. So I took off and she stuck her head out the window and waved and she said, hey, what's going on? I said, I gotta go. I said, I'm running late. So hopefully she doesn't think I was being rude. <laughs> so I took off and I'm coming up the highway and I seem to find every single slow person that I could get behind. And I seem to catch every red light that I could possibly catch. <laughs> this is one of those mornings, guys. I'm sure you've had those yourself and I'm trying to get to work, trying to get to work. And I'm like, man, I've had no breakfast. I need a cup of coffee. So I'll at least get a cup of coffee at the gas station out here. I'm gonna make it. And also I pulled in at the gas station, ran in to get a cup of coffee, and I ran into a former student who wanted to have a conversation, which is what I'm all about. I, of course, wanted to talk to my former students. They had no idea that I was about to be late to my crossing guard duty. So I gave them the time that they needed, you know, and I might have come pulled in my crossing guard post a couple of minutes late, but Sometimes it's important that you have to just do those things. You give the time to the people that need it. But the lateness that I'm kind of talking about today is a lateness that will affect you for your eternity. I might have got behind everything. It seemed like the everything was perfectly aligned to make me late today. And I'm sure we've all had days like that, and that can be frustrating. But did you know that this world is geared to try to make you late also? make you late in your repentance, make you late, make you late to accept Christ, make it too late for you. We get so distracted with work and pursuing money and pursuing a life and putting our thoughts on things that aren't as important as we think they are at the time. And so many people go through this life and then they are late. They're too late to accept Christ. Some people say, well, I'll do that when I'm older and then they don't get the chance. Some people never seriously take the time to consider it and they end up being too late. And that is the worst kind of tragedy. Tragedy. If we show up late to work a couple of minutes, we are mildly inconvenienced and the boss might not like it. But if we show up late in accepting Christ, then we're lost for all eternity. And that is a terrible tragedy. So. Don't be late. It happens, but don't let it happen in the realm of your own spirituality with Christ. Don't be late, folks. Be kind to each other. Have a good day. See you next time.